and now we should be back up for the next video so welcome on in if you're watching on youtube you hopefully well presumably just finished watching the bloodstained ritual of the night randomizer i just did and we're about to get ready for the castlevania symphony of the night randomizer which is next on our list of randothon randos for today so i need to open up this particular bizhawk i wish i could provide music but unfortunately it's kind of yeah uh do 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 Wow, it's actually been so long since I've did a, done a Symphony of the Night Sea. It's actually not even on my recent ROMs any, or recent files anymore. Uh, what do I have that then? Okay, things under stream stuff. Yeah, there we go. Games, Soten. We should. Okay. Let's do that. Excuse? Okay, I must have updated BizHawk recently and just like not fully set it up right because apparently it doesn't recognize what system this is for uh playstation always use this platform for this extension okay now it seems like it's working all right so let me swap over to soton rando and I, yeah i'm still kind of getting things set up hopefully that opens up and plays correctly oh no i i'm running the, the wrong uh file i'm being dumb uh, back here. Uh, crap, where am I going? There we go. Soten. Yeah, I, I, I clicked on the wrong file, I think. There we go. Okay, now, I've, now I know how to use my emulator. Oh, why is it... Okay, why is it pausing when I do that now? I thought I turned that setting off. Well, I guess this is a different version, too, so maybe I haven't set that up yet. Uh, so I do need to go to Tools, External Tools, Infinite Randomizer. Yes, Trusted. I've used it before. Tracker settings, launch tracker. Why is it opening up like that? That that is not the okay. Yeah, Bizhawk is kind of weird sometimes. Apparently, it's not even. Oh my god. Apparently, I need to fix up the way some of this stuff works. Auto track. There we go. Okay. So, me to that up there. So all of those. Oh yeah, I need to turn on my uh, live split and stuff like that too. It has been a long time since I've done Soden. Apparently, I hadn't even realized it. So, like everything just feels foreign to me now. Okay, so we got that. So open splits. I don't want to do an update right now. Now when I'm in the middle of streaming. Open splits. Castlevania. This is going to be casual. Uh, to do open layout. Soten. I did not fix this stream layout at all, apparently, and that is on me. All right. Uh, okay, so I need to. Nope, that. Nope, that's me. Let me move that up here a little more. Actually, kind of here, I guess. Okay, there's not actually a lot of room for chat, unfortunately. But yeah, I, I need to. At some point, I'm gonna make like proper layouts for all of my randomizers. And uh, yeah, this is not as good as I was hoping it actually this doesn't necessarily need to be here could I just I can stick it kind of up here I can shrink it enough to where it's still visible okay and that way I can actually make chat like almost fully visible okay that I can do put that about there just because reasons all right but I think we should be good to go it's got all my controls already preset in Okay, apparently my input reader is like super big font, but I'll oh, we'll deal with it. Alright, so... Casual... Actually, uh... How do I fit stream adversary in eight characters? Um... How do I... Cancel. So... Simversary... Simversary... That's what we were calling this. All right, and now I actually have a timer, so I actually need to hit the the proper key now. So I th think we should be good because we have timer. Don't we have the tracker? Yeah, we have everything we need. Oh, I need to update my category. I knew there was something I was forgetting. Symphony of the Night. Castlevania. Boop. All right. Now we're on the right game. So we should be good. I'm already running out of space on my desk. Let me put this right there. And let us begin. Now I'm going to screw up so 
Wait. Why did that not skip properly? There might be more shenanigans than I'm anticipating going on with this run. Okay, I don't have the... Okay, I know what the issue is. So I don't have the actual... The cleared file linked to this particular game, apparently? Oh, yeah, because it's a different version of BizHawk, which has its own folders for save files. So, yeah, we're actually going to be seeing all the cutscenes in this run. And make them your slaves. Perhaps the same could be said of all religions. Your words are as empty as your soul. Mankind ill needs a savior such as you. What, what is, is a man? A An invisible little pile of secrets. secrets. But, but enough talk. talk. How about you? No, we got to see that cutscene though. That's that makes it worth it. Ooh. Oh crap, I actually screwed up everything with this setup. Oh. oh my god, I am so bad at this game all of a sudden. Okay, so we didn't get the worst stats. Hopefully none of the... Yeah, I don't think... Okay, yeah. This is going to be interesting doing a randomizer with all the cutscenes because we can't skip any of them. I, thought I, could, I, I skipped the other ones somehow. Okay, so I guess we're doing story mode. Uh, let me... So... Accidental story mode activated. Okay, so yeah, we get to do this rando with cutscenes. And I've, I've now indicated that in the title. With no idea of where to begin her search, Maria Renard set out to look for, for Richter. It was then that fate intervened. Castlevania, the castle of Dracula, which is rumored to appear once every century, suddenly materialized from out of the mist as if to show her the way. Meanwhile, powerful forces were struggling for the soul of a man named Alucard. The very same Alucard who had teamed up with Trevor Belmont to battle his immortal father, Count Vlad Tepes Dracula. Alucard, in order to purge the world of his own cursed bloodline, had submerged his vampiric powers and entered into what was supposed to be an eternal slumber. But now, he is awake and aware of the evil once again at work in his homeland. The time has once again come for the forces of good and evil to engage in their ancient battle. Dracula's castle beckons for you, and no man can say who shall emerge victorious. Also, I forgot to split. Castlevania! Yeah, I should probably add this to a note to add the save file. Add Soten. Clear. Save. Actually, I guess technically at this point, it'll, it'll still, once we beat this rando, it'll actually be on there legitimately. Actually, I, I guess this problem will kind of fix itself after today. So, yay. Hey, we got a 1A kill weapon. Nice. Okay, so we don't have the best defense. We don't have any defense, basically. Oh my god. Still befriending mortals. 
I have not asked you to return to our side, but I demand you cease your attack. I will not. You shall regret those words. Who you will meet again. What? <laughs> Alright, let's do this. I'm gonna kinda do more checks than I really need to just because I want to try to get some better items. What is that color swap there? I almost couldn't even tell what that was. Get up there. Oh my god, how weak am I? Not as weak as I could be, in all fairness. But we got a good chunk of attack power. That's actually nice. Especially with Knuckles, too, because we can still get the double hits. Oh, this weapon's actually even better. Oh, we get Wolf to start, too. Interesting. So the only problem with getting Wolf this early is that we don't have a lot of magic to really, like, make the most use of it. But it does let us technically move faster and gets us a lot more vertical movement if we have a slope somewhere. Okay, all things considered, this is actually a decent start to this rando. If I can learn how to jump. There we go. And of course, all the checks we normally have are just missing. Okay, apparently the attack speed is not super fast with this. Oh wait, can I even check down here? Oh, okay, I can. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do a lot more, like, early equipment checks just because I'm not... Well, actually, even then, I can't do the proper quick kill with this kind of weapon either. I need a proper bladed weapon for that. And everything is empty. Okay, I'll take the life up at that point. At least we got one decent weapon to start with. Even though it's not technically ideal. I need to avoid hitting that button. Never been a problem before, but... I don't know, streaming does things to, like, your daily luck that are just inexplicable with words. Oh, I actually could have made that, too. Okay, safety. A safety save. I don't normally do this, but because of, you know, shenanigans, I will. Ah, you live this time. Let's see how this fight works. Oh god. And this is the problem with this fight, like this. Okay, one down. Okay, we're good. I am taking that life up. No, this is going to be kind of more like a casual-ish play run as far as like skill level goes, because it's just been so long since I've done this. Another blue knuckle. Huh. I'm not going to go down there yet, because that's going to be like a super slow thing for just like one or two checks. I'm not going to worry about that at this point. Oh, it's, that's not the one they kill on these. Okay, that's unfortunate. Internet, please. I'm watching you kilobits per second. Yeah, you better go back up. Reverse cloak. Yeah, we we need defense. Period. That's defense. We'll take it. That that all comes from constitution too. That's not actual defense direct or straight it's given us. It's reversible, so I don't like that the way that setup is currently done. Oh, we can customize it from the start. Uh?
Uh, no, I do want to have some... Actually, yeah, that works. Yeah. Green cape is best cape. Now, to be fair, I don't know if we just luck into the one that gives us the custom color combination or color combination, or if it just gives us that, that is based on the randomizer. It's been a while since I've really kept track of how like the updates work for this one. Are those vanilla gravity boots? Oh no, they wouldn't be vanilla. No, it's just a familiar. Which, you know what, I'm not going to object too much to. Ooh, Starlight. Actually, those... How did... I didn't even hit that button. How did I transform? Oh, okay, more strength. We'll take that. Yeah, this is like the, the truest of like equipment randomizers. Where it randomizes not only the stats, but also what just what each item does. So even for things that like normally don't give any stats like the starlight does, now it can actually do things. And it's based on the whatever effect is given based on the item description. Because those are always 100 percent accurate to what the item technically is. Actually, I guess the relic or the accessories, they still have their vanilla effects, but it's just based on what the description is, not what the item name or visual is. Ow. There. I would like a shield so I can shield dash, please. Oh yeah, I can't skip this. Oh, wait, I thought there was a cutscene here. Interesting. I don't know why there wasn't a cutscene there, because I could have sworn that's where you like, first meet Maria. Unless maybe, because I, I think they did add something to the rando where the statue there can actually always be open, so you don't have to worry about like the wait times and whatnot. So maybe if that is actually active, then maybe that also skips the cutscene entirely. Ooh, money. Okay, you take kind of a bit of hits. Yeah, that's much faster. Also, the the Venus flagship things over here are going to be annoying too. Because they're strong against bludgeoning, which is what this weapon is going to be. Never mind. They die just as quickly. That's a positive. Yeah, hitboxes. Okay, I like how I actually did like a little bit of a coyote jump there. I was falling and then I jumped. It's actually worth a good amount of experience if you kill him this early in the game. Wasn't the reason I killed him, but... Yeah. That's also an enemy that once you kill him, he actually does not respawn under any circumstances. That's kind of more the reason so that when I come back out from here. Oh, uh, we got a ring. Is the ring any useful? Nope, it's a regular sellable ring. No other items in this area, so we just move on. Come on. We could also technically skip the Alucard fight. Ooh, Dark Blade. Okay, I swear I'm not pressing the transform button. Okay, is that going to be better? That is better. We'll take it. And now I do want to transform. Let me do a little movement tech there. Actually, no, I do still have to go to the Dial Car Frank, or the Doppelganger Frank, I can't do the Wolf Jump up that way. But yeah, now we have a proper weapon, which is nice. Actually, because of the fact that it doesn't... Okay, no, we can't shield dash with that. There are some weapons you can actually manage to shield dash with because of how they operate. I think actually it might just be the consumable weapons that I think about it though, because they do technically have their own animation. But 
But at least in this case, we have a bludgeoning and slashing. So if an enemy is resistant to one, we have the other. So there is that benefit. Meow. Oh, that was not right. There we go. Yeah, there is a little bit of a speed try you can do. You can try to damage out the doppelganger as soon as he becomes, you know, vulnerable. But if you miss it, then that kind of thing happens and he actually gets to bop you a little bit. There is an item to get. Grapes. They are very sour. We'll go up here and get our free relic check. Ooh, got the double head. Yeah, this is definitely the good type of sword. Oh, gravity boots, hell yeah. Gravity boots are best boots. Well, they would be if I could actually get to the switch to open them. Okay, no item there. That actually makes it a little bit easier, so I don't have to worry about trying to, like, time my jump into there. Actually, I guess I do a wolf, which we can make it easier to get in there, because you just get, like, a running start. So, always get teleporters. Did not get it. Yeah, if, if you jump at, at, and land at a certain point, at a certain angle, you can actually fall through the bottom of that platform when you leave that door. Yeah, we don't have flight yet, so not... Okay. Apparently, the R2 button is more sensitive than I, than I gave it credit for on this controller. Yeah, that is super sensitive, actually. Oh, good to know. Okay, the punch does kill him, but it's definitely too weak for me to act, or too short range for me to actually want to use it regularly. God damn it. Well, now we're a pacifist for a bit. I wonder if I can still cast spells like this. I should probably try that next time that happens, or if it happens again. That one, okay, yeah. This controller is super sensitive on that button. And I don't know if there's a way to turn that sensitivity down, because there usually isn't a sensitivity on PS1 games. But I'm using a PS5 controller, so it's actually designed for that. That is a pseudo-vanilla jewel of open. Or French vanilla is the proper term is in the Randall community. Because normally you just get that in the shop up ahead. No, I'm going to do something that I, do, I don't normally do. Wow, we got solar bat already, too. So I'm going to do something I don't normally do in, in something of the Night Randos, but just because it's kind of a special event, I'm going to... Oh, no, we don't have the fairy. We don't have the fairy familiar, so I can't do it, actually. Never mind. I was actually going to do the, the shop glitch, where you can infinitely sell, like, certain sellable items. Which you can only do on your first trip into the... Actually, no, we could anyway, because uh, cause we can't skip cutscenes, so never mind. It's you, Master Alucard. What do you need? I need your help. Your master, master, I cannot, I cannot aid the one who opposes the master. I don't remember the exact lines. You won't go unrewarded. Really? In, In that, that case, case, just tell me what you, you need. need. The voice acting in this game is tremendous. I'm interested in We had... Thank you. Okay, we have enough for the relic at least. I'm interested in Wait, there is no relic here. Okay, good to know. Uh, what is available weapon-wise? Okay, we can't get shield. We can get literally one shield. Thank you. That's all we can afford, but that's all we really care about. Because that should give us defense, and we can shield dash. Yeah, decent defense. I will not look down upon it. I don't think I can do... Actually... I don't know if I can actually do this setup. Wait, how did... You, like, didn't jump at all there. What was that about? I want to see if I can still get this set up. This is a, a speedrun tech that you normally use to get up here. Oh, wait, you would need Mist to get up here normally. Oh, actually, if I... I might still be able to get up there. Oh, 
Okay, yeah, if those birds are in the right position, I can actually probably jump off of that and then get enough height to be able to get back up in there. I want to I'm gonna do this a couple more tries. Just to see if I can do it. Oh, I can't do it that way. Yeah, and that's one of the things that always kind of annoy me when trying to do this in the actual speed runs. That sometimes I would just get bodied by the book regardless of my positioning. And I, I don't understand what causes that either. That, that was the thing that frustrated me the most. It, it's like, if I can understand what is causing the issues, I'm perfectly fine with having the issues. If I don't understand it, that's what gets, gets me just, like, completely off of anything. Okay, we'll do one more try. If we can't make it, then we'll just come back later. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I have, we have, we have bad. And actually, because we have the, uh, okay. I don't remember... I don't remember that being... Oh, wait, we've already been up here. Never mind. But yeah, I don't remember L2 being the bad button. Wait. Yeah. L. Wait a minute. These controls are incorrect. Hold on. Let me get this fixed up. Uh, config controllers. So, up, down, left, right, select, start. Triangle, X, square, circle, L1, L2. The, uh, rotation X plus is apparently what L2 is on the PS5. Oh, no, I, I'm just nudging the, the control stick. Never mind. I'm, I'm, I'm being dumb. So let's try that. So L1, L2. Nope, that went too fast somehow. R1, R2. What is... You want to stick left button. Okay. Hopefully that makes things make sense. Okay, that's what the button should be for bat. Button for, for bat should be R1, not L2. That's what why things felt weird. Okay, now we should be good to go. There's always a little bit of a technical difficulty you have to deal with. Yeah, because this is a version of BizHawk I think I downloaded within the past, like, couple weeks or so. And yeah, apparently I forgot to do, like, a whole bunch of settings to it. Yeah, and I'm technically making a poor decision by going this way. There's not really too many items I can get from this direction, but it does give me quicker access to the the final air, well, final area of the first castle, especially the teleporter, which is kind of one of the main good things about this. Oh, we have flight because of that. Yeah, th these splits don't really matter anyway since we got storyline mode activated. So I'm not gonna worry too much about it. I do want to try to get to the items that are over here. So I would definitely like to get more geared up if we can. I potion. Holy rod. Holy rod, maybe. I think the rods are mostly vanilla still. Okay, it's just the exact same attack. Yeah, the rods, because of some weird item stat shenanigans, whatever, are still vanilla in this randomizer currently. At least last I heard, which was admittedly a couple years ago, so maybe they've got that fixed since. Might be interesting. 
Oh my god, even more strength. Yes, please. We got two strength items right off the bat, which just makes us like a murder machine already. Yeah, there's technically an item inside this brick wall up here, though I don't know if we necessarily really need to check it. Okay, just... That's a life apple. And I think consumables are mostly what they're supposed to be. Although I think you need, you need the fairy in order to be able to actually use the life apple, so yeah, we're not gonna worry about that too much. Yeah, again, we'll, we'll continue, our, continue our casual ish playthrough. Yeah, this one I've already kind of settled in the fact that this is going to be like an extra long stream anyway, so. An extra couple minutes for safety ends is not going to hurt. Uh, just in case we get duplicator, I actually want to pick that up. Because we already have the mana prisms. Now, are these actually what they're supposed to be, just to confirm? Elixir. Okay, they are actually their vanilla items for consumables. Easy. Yeah, with plus 25 strength and I think also like plus 15 attack. Yeah, this is gonna be easy game. So yeah, so in the mode that I'm playing right now, which is casual mode, the relic spots are just mixing with each other. They're not mixed. The relics aren't gonna be mixing with like items or stuff like that. So whatever you would normally find like an actual proper relic. You'll find another relic potentially otherwise. For places that are just purely HP max ups, those are not necessarily going to be anything useful. Yeah, there are a couple of bosses that actually do lead to progression items like that, but if it's just HP ups, not going to be a thing. Actually, I suppose once we got the gravity boots with Wolf, I already had flight at that point. Oh, there's our first uh, lot item. Also, I want to get that uh, shuriken. Or the cross shirt. Oh, right, I forgot. There we go. Okay, we'll get a, try to get a couple items down here first before we start moving up. Actually, well, too late now. I was thinking it might have been faster if we technically got the Richter items first. Oh, pressure sensitive. Ow. Yeah, it'll be nice to actually get some defense on my side soon. The offense is all well and good, but if I get killed just as easily, that's not fun. Oh, wow. Okay, two flawed items already. I shouldn't need either of those. There's probably still going to be... Yeah, these guys. Oh, almost. Okay, I can still bark at them. That's good to know. Bark at the moon. There we go. Oh! Okay, I'm glad to get that early, actually. Duplicator! Okay, so we are not in a position where I feel comfortable actually utilizing that yet. Nope. Okay, so once we actually get like some proper defense, then I'm gonna get the duplicator in use. Okay, so apparently I can only miss back to do the quick transformation. I can't do that with Wolf. Just to see if I can still do it. Oh, I want to see if I can do the Richter skip. Nope. Oh, I almost got the Richter skip there. Well, first step of it. Ooh, there's armor. Uh, here. Oh my god, that's a lot of defense. That's a good thing. Okay. Thunder Shotel. Shotel and Heaven Sword. So Shotel is less damage. Heaven Sword. I think this is actually legitimately the flying sword. Yeah, there's a lot of people who have, like, very negative opinions on the Heaven Sword. I find it to be a, still a pretty decent usable weapon, personally. It's just more awkward to use because of how it functions. And especially the fact that you can't attack again until it comes back to you. So that part I can understand why people have the issue. So go ahead and get the... 
thing here. Okay, so one concern with this section is that we only have one wave that we can really explore at this point, and that's over in this direction. Actually, no, we do have the Jewel of Open, so we actually get to the doors just fine, so yeah, never mind. If we didn't have the Jewel of Open that I picked up from the library earlier, there would be some doors up ahead that would be locked that we cannot get through, and would be basically a dead end. But since we have the Jewel, we're good to go. I don't need that. Oh, that's a two-handed two weapon. Great sword. Uh, lowers defense a bit. Yeah. Oh, I suppose if, if it okay, it could have the Masamune style attack, which it does not. So yeah, it, so the Masamune is a special two-handed weapon that basically functions like the Krasagrim, where it doesn't actually no. So it, it has multiple attacks per swing, but you still take... You still stop your movement when you attack with it. Mobla? Power increases with gameplay. Yeah, I'm going to be checking every at least regular sword I get just to see if it has the Crusagrim attack effect. Got a triple hit there, nice. Got him. I think this is gonna trigger a cutscene. Although maybe it doesn't because I came from the right. Okay, it triggers it. Impressive. You're very strong. What is it you want? You didn't come here to tell me that. You're right. Do you know the name Krikta Belmont? Also, I love this visualization here. Of the Belmont clan? Of course, but. Yeah, Ralika remembers the, the NES version of, of Trevor. Ago, and I'm sure he's here. If you see him, please let me know. So I guess I was technically right here. Thank you. So, you do know how to be a gentleman. Also, we're seeing these cutscenes out of order at this point, so if it, if it makes no sense... That's also kind of part of the, the intent of Vanilla, but it just makes less sense in this context. Oh, I wish I had double jump. Ooh, Marcel. Marcel is also a really good weapon in vanilla. Resembles Family Sword. So it's the Alucard Blade, which could still have the Crusagum effect. <gasps> okay, how much? It's a little bit weaker, but oh my god, the attack speed. Normally, the Alucard Sword, which is what this is technically supposed to be, has a really slow at a rate of fire, but oh my god, this is like a machine gun for swords. We are still using this. The one time the Walmart brand is actually better. That's a circlet, I think, and that's a ring. So, we have bandana, which... You know what, intelligence. Heals by lightning damage, okay. Then... Yeah. Oh, we don't, we don't actually need that. Oh, I... I gotta find a better spot for my index finger than the actual spot I have it at. Okay, so I can get everything in this area because I do have gravity boost, which is nice. Get him! Okay, don't need that. Even in a speedrun contact with duplicator, that's actually not that useful. Medusa shield? Is that going to be any better than Alucard? Not really. I don't know how much damage I'm actually doing, but this thing actually does give you a lot of experience because it's technically a high level, now, just like that. Because in this game, the experience you gain is based on your level versus the enemy's level. If the enemy has a much higher level than you are, you'll get a lot more experience as a result. Inversely, if you have a, lot high, a much higher level than the enemy does, all you will get is one experience per kill. Regardless of how strong the actual enemy is, as far as like overall stats. 
which is uh, which is unfortunate because it basically means you can never practically hit the level cap, which is 99. The best you can typically do if you're patient enough is like lower 70s. And at that point, you're just like, okay, I'm just done with this. This is taking too long. So we got Falchion and Combat Knife to check out. I don't think the Combat Knife is going to be anything useful. Come on. Okay, so do the equipment checks. Combat Knife, Flat Combat Dagger. That's a lot of damage. What's his attack, attack speed? Oh, it's the 1-2, the which is not particularly useful. Falchion. Oh, it's a one-handed. Oh, it's, this is the Marcel. Ooh. Okay, standing attack speed is pretty standard. But the this after effect of the fire is actually going to be really good. So I'm actually going to keep this. Okay, so I think now we have to go into the Coliseum at this point. So I don't think we can really go anywhere else at the moment. Okay, I, st I still see my internet doing annoying things, but it's not doing them for very long. So I'm not going to be too disturbed by that at the moment. Fire is bad, which eh. It gives you an attack form is bad. And I think it scales up your intelligence. Which we have, I think, decent boost on, maybe, right now? Yeah, I'm not in bad enough need of items to be willing to go down that shaft, so... I think for the most part, we're just gonna go for the... Unless it's like a really high concentration of items, we're gonna skip the individual item checks. playing this again, now that I'm actually, like, kind of thinking about how everything feels. I didn't realize it had been so long since we'd done one of these. Actually, we can get the uh, thing up here, too, right, right up the middle. Hopefully we get back fast enough before the other gate closes. Oh god, that's not what I wanted to do. So there should be a relic, I think, over here? Eh, it's not a useful one. I guess it does let us go super fast as wolf after enough buildup. But it does also t cost MP every time you uh, run into something as well. Which, in certain areas, will drain you of your MP super quick. So it's kind of one of those uh, cost and benefit analysis type things. Ooh, elixir. Like, before I started doing randomizers of this, I always thought the Marcel, the Marcel, which is kind of basically what we have now, was kind of a very mad weapon. Just like, okay, damage, but nothing else. And then I got shown this by one of the other, actually by the, the creator of this randomizer, Wild Mouse. And then I'm just like, oh. Then I was like, okay, now I'm a believer. Standard Sword. I call that the Alucard Sword, too. Which would be anything but standard. Oh, that thing is actually kind of tanky. It's a save. I think there's an item in here we can get for, like, equipment. Uh, we'll take it just because we're here. You know, those are big yellow skeleton guys, when you're playing in a replay file, which is after you've beaten the game once already, I think that's an actual mule ticket. Yeah, it's an actual mule ticket. So once you uh, beat the game and you start a new game with replay mode, which is just as long as you have a clear, uh, clear file already on your memory card, those guys have a chance of dropping what's called the Ring of Varda, which gives you, I think it's like plus 24 to all stats. And yes, it is exactly as broken as it sounds. And I think it also gives you like a straight four, uh, plus 24 attack on top of the strength. So you're doing like an extra 50 damage just from that ring alone. It, it is just silly and amazing. And I love it. Uh, 
That's just food. Oh, we actually killed him. Nice. Okay, so I'm actually gonna save before I do this room, because this this room can be dangerous. I mean, I have decent enough defense and a modest amount of HP, so I might be fine, but I just want to be sh Actually, I could theoretically just, uh, bat dash through it and take care of all the enemies that would, like, kill me instantly. Let's try it. Put that down here. Okay, easy game. Oh, you lived. I can't allow that. Uh, is the Onyx gonna be anything good? Nope. Sellable ring. Yeah, honestly, I have the duplicator, but I actually don't care right now. I got so much better equipment otherwise. God's Garb? Uh... Not worth just to attack. Yeah, a lot of the Rhino players for Symphony Knight are all about just, you know, if it gives you attack power, equip it. But I like if you only have defense, too. <laughs> Who are you? Open Hell's Gate! Come forth, my servants! The scent of your blood. You're a Belmont. Also, I can't cheese this fight Crush because the, the enemies here will actually have their AI activated at the proper castle. time. Because <laughs> normally when you can skip the cutscenes, you get like several seconds of action before they can do anything. Which I don't have that option because, you know, cutscene. But it was still an easy fight. Because we are too strong. I'm certain that was a Belmont. So he says he's the lord of this castle. I don't need the help at this point. I'm pretty good with a lot of, a lot of what I have. Uh, that's going to be the... Holy Glasses. Yep. So that does let us actually get through Richter then. Uh, do I want to do anything else? There's items I could get. But I don't really need them. Oh, that's not what I activate. Uh, I th there are still relics by Ulrox's area that I can get while I'm here. Plus, I can activate the teleporter, so if I need to come back and get, uh, like, the... Well, the actual Holy Glasses check, as well as the Holy Glasses themselves, I can use this to come back a lot quicker. Yeah, I think for the most part, I'm actually kind of done looking for items, actually. I got a good chunk of what I need right now. I mean, I could get better defensive gear. And actually, I would still love to be able to get, like, a Ring of Water or something. Actually, I suppose I can do it this way. So I already know what a gold ring is. Dragon Helm? What'd that, what that do? Immune to curses. Not as useful, unfortunately. Oh, that the fire actually takes up a lot of my MP. Oh, thankfully, we don't need much more of it. Here we get back some MP. And we'll save just because. Now I'll probably do the bat on the way back out. Diamond, okay. Did that do anything useful? Nope, sellable. I'm still forgetting what button summoned which animal, which is kind of bad on my part. Ooh. Technically Ring of Ares. It is actually Ring of Arcana. Which I wish was useful in a randomizer, but it's just not. Actually, that would be kind of a cool mode for this game to actually have enemy drops be like the relics too. <coughs> Although it would make some fights a lot more, or some enemies a lot more annoying for like drop rates and such. And progression. Apparently I'm not doing a lot of damage, but I'm doing enough ticks where it doesn't quite matter. 
We gotta chill for the big fireball machine gun if it comes to that. Okay, we're good. Big lizard man. Is now dead lizard man. Okay, so that would have gotten us to do our shop glitch earlier if I had that at that point. But, well, since A already triggered the cutscene, and B, since the cutscene would have still played regardless, we actually wouldn't... Actually, no, maybe I could have... I actually don't know how that interaction works if the cutscene is, like, legit being played still afterward. It might still work, I don't actually know. Oh, okay, so skill is the one that gives you the instant burst of speed. I thought, okay, so power is the one that gives you the, on... I didn't even try to time that, but it was perfect. I am accidentally good at this game. Got a potty on. Oh, wow, okay, I'm, I'm glad I came here then. That was actually required. Um... What's the fastest way to get us to where we want to go? But since we have bats, let's go ahead and try this route out. You know, maybe I could actually... Okay, let me... I wish I could... I... There's some way to sort. But I forget what the the button is. There's a way to access a sort menu. But I can't remember how. Ah, okay. So let's take a look at our consumable weapon. So Cross Hurricane, decent damage. Actually, let's put that over our proper weapon. Decent damage there. Fire Boomerang, about the same damage. Shuriken, about the same damage. I think that's all that we have for throwable weapons. Okay, that's a lot of damage. Th that's not as easily spammable, though, and we can't use it to shield dash or anything. Okay, let's try this for a bit. So here we want the cross shurikens. Here we want the monoprisms. I found those like super early. Yep. And then we'll take that off. Uh, which one? Oh, it's the actual duplicator. I kind of like the, the, the white slash gray fire, honestly. I think it's kind of better than the blue fire. So we're going to lose a lot of defense, but we're now extra broken. So now we can freely recover MP and we can fire off like these super strong shurikens at like mock speed. And we can shield dash with it. Oh. Okay, we're not taking that much damage yet either, which is nice. Okay. Oh. I just gotta remember, or get used to the button controls again. And again, because we don't have miss, we can't do like a proper quick swap out of uh, bat form. And also, when anytime you have like a potion or monitor and stuff like that, it does give you some iframes as well. So you can use that to get across some kind of sticky positions if you really want to try. In fact, we also could get to the, I think it's the gold ring check up here if we really wanted, but I don't want to do that. But I've not had the greatest luck with that particular trick. I'm just like, nah, I'm good. Yeah, I want to see if we can maybe make this like a super fast seed where you can just like get our three relics that we found here so far and find the other two blood relics up on top. The odds are not high of that happening, but I want to try it. Especially with how long the bloodstain rattle took, I want to see if I can try to gain a little bit of that time back. We've already got that teleporter activated, so that's not going to be an issue. Safety save here. Okay, so now I need to actually equip the Holy Glasses. Which do give us more defense, actually. Less intelligence, but it doesn't really matter at this point, because we're back to using physical attacks. Okay, so what, what's the... I'm trying to remember... Well, I know I do the Soul Seal at the start. 
Oh no, do I do... I'm trying to remember what the, the strat is for this room. I actually can't remember properly. I've been waiting for you. So it is you. But why is a Belmont planning the resurrection of Count Dracula? Count Dracula rises but once every century, and my role is over. If I can resurrect him, then the battle will last for eternity! If those are your true feelings, then so be it. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, I got the strat. You've defeated me, but all is not yet lost. The resurrection of Count Dracula is at hand. <laughs> I can do an evil laugh. At least we can skip those scenes. That's at least something. Or just like just like the pretty polygons. No. What have I done? Thank you, Alucard, for saving Richter. Alucard? The same Alucard who fought alongside my ancestor, Trevor Belmont? That was over 300 years ago. No time for small talk. Is the person who controlled you in that castle over there? Yes, I think so. Maria, take Richter and leave here. I'll finish this. All right. Good luck. So in the speed run, you usually are able to like do the bat or the bat wing smash through this room to skip the Richter fight. If you lose the bat at the wrong point, where if you basically fall after the point where Alucard jumped there, you would actually get permanently soft locked in a cutscene you cannot get out of. Because the game does not know how to respond to you not being able to get to the teleporter there. I've been soft locked by that more than a couple times. That was a very great plain pill. Hmm. That's a lot of health. And given that we're just dealing with duplicator, I kind of want these now. Spy Hunter? That's normally the Osafune Katana, I believe. Okay, so technically that's the Masamune. I don't know if it actually is. Uh, we should be able to... Wait, yeah. We should be able to move this and put the crotch hurricanes down there so we can do a quick check. The monoprism will go there. Is it actually... Oh my god, it actually is. What's the attack power? Attack power is decent? Yeah, we'll try going with this for a bit and see how that works. Uh, where is my... Oh no, that's not the one. Yeah, right here. All right. Let's go with the Masamune and see how, how well this works. So about the standard uh, attack speed. I keep hitting the wrong button. I also didn't realize I can't... Another sword. The Muramasa. Oh, there's a bunch of weapons here. Good lord. Mace Nunchaku. I think the, nun the nunchucks are constantly what they are, because they're a very specialized weapon. Oh wait. Okay, so I can't quite get that standard set up. I need to get this one right here. Wait, I gotta... Oh. Yeah, that would have to... Okay, that's not going to be a relic anyway, so I don't really need to focus on that. I was going to say, I do have Mono Prism and Duplicator. But if it's not a relic, it's not really that much of a point trying to spend time on getting it. Oh, perfect. Okay, so get the Teleporter for sure. Well, like, I guess maybe the Teleporter doesn't matter as much. Yeah, the only teleporter that really super matters in the first castle is the one by the end game. This one is more good if you want to come back here as a quick thing later on. 
more shurikens. I do want to save and get our MP back before going forward. Also, uh, this boss fight gear here does have a relic. So you always want to do this first when you come to Reverse Castle. And it's a fairly easy fight overall. Especially when you have a weapon like the Muramasa. The question is, is it a useful relic? Uh, just, you know, just because we'll grab it. Oh, okay, that actually, well, because this is a check for a lot more equipment items, but in this version, or in this mode, it doesn't give us any, like, progression checks. Which is unfortunate, but... Although, actually, no. Oh my god, I can actually show off the, the lines. I am not picking up another familiar card for the rest of the game. We have the good demon card. The one who actually does the voice lines, and I am, I am keeping him. He is precious baby boy. I'm equipping him now. Yeah, because like 99 times over 100, I get the Nose Devil one instead, and I never actually get to see the actual Devil that with the English voice lines. But I'm going to use this to my benefit. There we go. Okay, there's a library card, so if we need to go back to the first castle, we have a quick way of doing it now. And because we have the duplicator, we have an infinite means of doing so. So we should be good, but I'm going to do a safety save. E. Oh yeah, those guys are really good for experience too, the Panthers. Especially in the speedrun. Well actually in the speedrun you actually want to avoid the level up because they take more time. But yeah, if you're doing randomizer, definitely go for the Panthers if you can. So you also have a chance of dropping a proper relic. Pretty much all the bosses in Reverse Castle do. Oh, double jump, hell yeah. Now we got all the movement. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I want your experience. Oh, normally that that's a Crusader sprite. Okay, that's the description. We found it. Oh my god. This is the best seed officially. Yes. Also, I can put my shield back on now, so we have shield dashing again. Double bonus. Yeah, at this point, we don't necessarily need to be doing any more item checks. But I do kind of want to see if we can get some better armor, maybe. Also, now we can do the proper gravity jump chaining without having to switch to bat or wolf all the time. That's like the biggest benefit. Oh wait, wait, I don't have the miss so I can't do the... Actually, do I need to do the proper thing there? I don't know. Yeah, there's, there's a boss here with the possible relic check, so that's all, that's all I care about in here. Yeah, down there is just an item check, so I don't want to do anything with that. I thought that was fine with that much, but apparently not. And yeah, those guys, if you take out their legs before their upper half, they basically split in half like that and become two enemies. If you take out the upper half first, they sometimes just get destroyed outright, but then they also have a chance of just uh, spawning, leaving the lower, uh, leaving the legs, which is a much easier fight. I think we should be good for this fight. Actually, yeah, we can use sw our swap to duplicator strats. Uh, to do so cross shuriken. Actually, we have two cross shurikens. We can dual wield. Uh, let me make sure I got the duplicator on. Okay, duplicator's on.
Duplicator's busted. Oh, and also an equipped duplicator. Yeah, duplicator is like a, a super fun item to get through everything like super quickly. But sometimes I, I just like to do, just sort my way through everything. Kind of like the, like the traditional style. That's kind of how I'm feeling today. You have... Cube of Zo Okay, so that actually drops things from the lanterns. Which, in this mode, doesn't give any progression, so... So, yeah, we're actually good with that one. In adventure mode, that would give us progression to certain areas. Which can kind of suck, honestly. Because there are times where, like, you actually need to get the item that's behind that. So what that does, there's a certain check where you actually need the, the, the stopwatch sub-weapon to get access to a certain check in adventure mode. And you need the Kubozoid in order for those to potentially drop. Okay, I'm just going to be patient here. The problem is, you never know where they are until you actually find them in the regular run. And so trying to find that where that's your go mode item is especially, like, horrendous. But thankfully, you don't have to worry about that, because this is just a casual run. And casual is not even just in my description of my gameplay, that's actually the name of the mode, casual. Yeah, because so, the, the quote-unquote standard version of this rando is, I think, actually just called, like, standard mode, whatever, whatever it is, where there's what's called a certain complexity that's always going to have, like, a minimum to maximum range to, like, at what order you get your relics, how you get them, what the logic is to get to each one, stuff like that. Casual mode is pretty the exact same setup as far as, like, what you need to beat the game, but it just, it, it kind of reduces the chance of having you to pick up, like, 19 items in a row in order to actually get your final go mode. It's an exaggeration, but, okay. Okay, we didn't take that much damage from that. I'm actually kind of proud of that. Because normally that thing can body you if you're not, like, defensed up enough. Like, if you have, like, the duplicator equipped, he does, like, 100 plus damage. Which is not fun no matter how many hit points you have. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna save. I shouldn't have to. I really shouldn't have to do any saves at this point. But yeah, after what happened with the Bloodstained Rando, I don't want to lose any progress. Again. That didn't do as much as I wanted it to do. Free item check. Oh, or not. Because I'm bad at the game. Still one I want to go for first. There we go. There we go. Oh, a spike breaker. Okay. That was a very, like, neon radioactive gold appearance. And I kind of dig it, not gonna lie. Ow. Oh, hey, I got the holy water. I got the best sub weapon. Oh my god, how do they actually make all that? That is really kind of a terrifying room because the just like one miss of input can make you drop your wing smash, then you have to deal with like a bajillion mini demons. And just wow. I'm I am amazed I went as clean as it did. Okay, so this fight again should be good. But safety save. I'll write you right there. And also give regain magic, that's always nice to have. is normally terrifying if you don't have like a good strat for it. So I don't think this is a relic, but the room to the left of here will be a relic. 
It's one of the weird bosses that's kind of set up that way in Reverse Castle. Where this is the actual prize right here, which is not really what we need, but we'll grab it. Just over here. Uh, so yeah, we don't have go mode yet, so we actually do want to progress. I'm actually not sure if this way is faster or going to the other way is faster. Because the other way you would go through the elevator, which has like a bajillion demons in it that can kind of screw you up. But if you can get through them all cleanly, it's actually overall faster. Plus you don't have to deal with the invisible enemies here. But then again, we have Forsaken, so we don't have to deal with them anyway. That's not what I wanted. We could get more items here, but eh. Silver ring? Does that do anything useful? Nope. So I, I do want to try to find a ring of bar if we can, because that just makes everything even more fun, because it does like so much more damage, you get so much more defense, and just like everything becomes so much better. Proper Miramasa, so I'm not really worried about that. I really wish I had missed so I could do the proper, like, miss canceling. Then I have to drop down every time. Maybe I'll get it, maybe I won't, but it'd be really nice to have. So I think to the right of here is normally an item, so it's not going to be a relic. Okay, I swear, that looks like the, the boots from Legend of Zelda. Just the way that the colorization and the shape was. And I legit was thinking, oh, now I get to go faster. But then I'm like, no, that's, that's not how this works. Sell will ring, okay. I don't need Sherbert. Cutscenes coming up. So, you've made it this far. In the name of your father, cease this foolishness. Not while there's a breath in my body. Then, for the master, I'll feast on your soul this night. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> Not into that, thank you. Okay, so soon coming up is one of the is a, one a, I think one of the best voice lines in this game. Oh, that's one of the relics we needed too. Okay, so incoming, one of the best voice lines. Hmm, this switch hasn't been pressed yet. Beautiful. Actually, no. Bring back the meme. Bravo, good sir. And the thing that sucks in the reverse castle, there's actually like not really anything useful to get here. There's like one item. Now in regular castle, there's like six or so items we can get that would actually be like equipment. But yeah, here, just basically nothing. Aw, oh, damn it. I was trying to get the game, I'm trying to be cool. Let me be cool. So, I don't think there's a relic over here, but I'll double check. There's dynamite, or TNT, close enough. I think in the regular castle there's a relic over there, but not in reverse.
Yasutsuna. That's another pretty good weapon, actually. I think that's actually the... Wait. Yasutsuna. I think that's what we actually have the current effect for. Maybe. Internet? Why? Okay. Didn't drop too many frames that time. This is actually kind of one of my favorite themes of this game right here. I don't know if I can really express why necessarily this is my favorite track, but it just kind of is. I guess it got like just the right build up to the kick. Even just like a little passive vibe is kind of good from time to time. This is definitely good for that. I didn't see what I got because I was looking at something else. So, always save before this fight. Unless you're trying to do a save split, which I completely forgot to do. But oh well. This fight can definitely go b balls up if you don't do it right. Oh, kind of like that. Um, let's just try to tank it. Oh god. Okay, I think we're good. Nope, we're not good. We're not good. We're not good. Uh, I need elixir. Uh, okay, so... Okay, yeah, I need to move the elixir down here first off. I know I had... here. We live down here so it's closer to everything else I, I want. We'll put the duplicator back up so we can just, like, spam it. Never mind. That's why I saved. Okay, so you, so you can't just quite spam that, apparently. Well, and also because of the fact that when you use a potion like that, it actually takes time for the healing to go, uh, take effect. And I guess we took too many hits before then. I just suppose I had a W there instead of an M. Damn it. That's why I look weird at first. I mean, that font just looks weird in general, but still. We. I love how you can just modify the way the, the now loading text works in the loading screens. Okay, I'm just gonna do this. I'm actually gonna wait for him to turn around first. So I think this makes it more consistent to get the head knocked back and for a from actually do anything to you. There we go. That's more like it. Yeah, you also get like a bunch of level ups off him too, because yeah, I think he's like level 70 or something like that. So you usually get a good like 5-6 level ups off of him. I didn't really take damage from that, so I don't need actually need the max health. More diamonds. Is this our go mode? No, but it's one of our rings. So it might be progression we need. We just we're not gonna know for a while. Oh, there's a stopwatch. Not that I need it, but we'll take it. Damn it. Okay, now what I meant to do, but... Oh, they drop a weapon. Oh, they drop another mob long sword. Interesting.
Okay, so there should be... How many checks are left? So I think it's gonna be... So I wanna try to do this from memory and not necessarily check the tracker. I know there's at least one... Actually, no, is there one here? So I don't fully remember what our checks in adventure versus regular here. Oh, those Mob Longs don't just drop like freaking M&Ms. Bastard. Oh my god, please. Should be good. I don't want that, thank you. you no, know I'm checking. Okay, both these are checks. So confirmed. Yeah, I could do a safe split here to make sure I don't actually need to go do the. Actually, I, I do have bath and a good amount. Of... Damn it. Yeah, you can usually do a safe split there if you don't have a lot of movement options to do the reverse uh, merman statue check and then get if, if there's nothing there just reset it's faster but if you have bad and good amount of mp that's usually the fast way to get back up actually yeah i can just do this uh except i've got him in his iframe state damn it there like that of course i did that when he had like one tick left damage but still but he just drops the max health up. And then the actual relic is going to be down here. That looks like either pancakes or a burger. Or maybe a pancake burger. I don't really know. I'm not that much of a connoisseur. And that one is basically useless in rando. Actually, it's kind of useless in general. Doesn't even do that much damage. What is that? I don't know though I don't know if that's actually the right name for that item either. But it looks like a morning set to me, I guess. I guess it could be like waffles under a pancake, something like that, so I guess that would make sense. Oh, okay. It does take a bit of MP to get through there, but... Not, gra not grabbing it. I want to save my little demon. You will not take him away from- Ooh, money! One thousand dollars! Yay, money. Ow. 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 We got wall chicken there. Ow. Ow. Hydrogen dioxide. How could you do this to me? Hey, welcome on Instar. And thank you for the grats. It's kind of hard to believe it's actually been as, as long as, I, as it's been so far. Yeah, because I, I basically started streaming as kind of a way to be able to keep relatively social back when COVID first started. I didn't even know if I was going to, like, really stick with it beyond... I, I kind of expected, like, the whole COVID thing to be done by, like, the end of, like, 2020, something like that. And then just, you know, everything else happened. But then, you know, I just, I, it just kept being fun to stream. So I'm just like, yay, stream. And so here we are. Oh, yeah. Welcome on in. I, I hope you're doing well. Let's do a save just because we haven't saved in a while. Oh, the run so, so this is our second run so far. Our first run was, which was a Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, was awkward. I, I can't remember the last time I died so much in a Bloodstained Randall, I'll put it that way. There was just a lot of like weird, just like routing and item setups, and just like it, it was, it was a weird run. But we eventually powered through it, and this run is actually going overall pretty good. We we got basically like all the best fun weapons already. I mean, there's a couple things that would still technically be better than what we have now, but not by like a large degree. 
Like, I don't know how familiar you are with the uh, Castlevania Symphony of the Night, but if I could get just, like, one Ring of Varda effect, that would just make my day right now. I'd be so much more overpowered, and it'd just, it'd just be, like, super silly, more so, more so than it already is. And also, fun fact, I actually used to speedrun this game proper back in around uh, 2015 or so. And I actually managed to get a good enough time where at or at the time I was speedrunning, I had like the number 10 time overall. The time of, I, I believe it was 1804, but it got re-timed to 1805 within the past couple years or so. so. Yeah, I used to be pretty decent in this game. Actually, I don't think there's any checks back. Oh, there's one check over there. Okay, so still a little bit for us to do up here. Yeah, I kind of want. It, it did kind of teach me one thing. I'm not the super big fan of when it comes to like speed running for like super good times, is that you, you eventually get these little slumps of for whatever reason. Like X trick will give you a billion years worth of issues, and you have no idea why. And there was a certain point where that just kind of got to be too much for me. It was more stress than it was worth, so that's why I kind of stopped. I actually, I have to go more inward. Is that? Oh wait, no, I'm I'm in the completely wrong area. This is not where I need to be. Yeah, it's also been long since I've done a randomizer of this, and I'm kind of forgetting where things are. But honestly, it's kind of it's not really that bad at things. I'm actually kind of just enjoying like almost relearning where everything is at this point, and even just kind of playing like quote unquote a casual. It's actually more kind of kind of bringing me back to the game actually. Bastard. That's what you get. Yeah, for the, the time that this kind of seed can go, this is still kind of relatively decent. Although there are people like like the actual like world uh, world record holder for Symphony of the Night, uh, Dragon Blitz. He can legit get a randomizer of this done in the span of like 40 minutes if he gets like a good enough seed. Because he, he's just kind of insane with his skill. Okay, so no item there, and that's literally everything in the reverse castle, so we have to go back to the first. Thankfully, we have a library card. And we have a duplicator, so we don't have to worry about actually using the library card. So get that back. Got that. There we go. Now we got to find out where that last relic is. Yeah, I, I think I, I checked a couple years ago. I think that time is actually around like maybe like the 60s or 70s in position at this point. Because there, there have been a lot more like moving discoveries and some other tech stuff like that that's been discovered that uh, cut down the time a lot more than it was. Because when I was speedrunning it, I think the record had just broken the 17 minute barrier where the record was like 16 minutes, 59 seconds. And I think now it's at like 16, 25 if I remember right. So they've cut off an entire... Oh, I'm dropping frames. Hopefully it's not cutting the audio too much. But yeah, th yeah, the world record has been cut down about 30 seconds in the, in the span of the past six years, so... Yeah, my time isn't as impressive as it once was, but I'm, I'm still overall proud of it, especially for the tech that was available at the time. And in fact, there's actually a, actually one of the glitches that, or glitches that have been discovered... Oh, I don't have missed for this yet. Wait, my time is 20 seconds? I could have sworn I was a lot worse than that. Yes, I know there were a lot more people that picked up the speed run, like since I played. But yeah, is that actually my rank? Twenty second with that time? Huh? Okay, my internet looks like it's being a butt. I don't know how much it's coming across on the stream, but but yeah. Yeah, because I, I remember when I was streaming at that, and that, actually, the thing is, like I said, I first originally started streaming, like I said, in 2015. I think I streamed my speedruns for about a couple months, then I just kind of fell out of it. And then I didn't really pick stream back up again until, you know, COVID hit, so. So, technically, if you want to be, like, literal, my stream anniversary would be, I think, June-ish of 2015 is when I started. So it was somewhere in, like, late spring, early summer. But yeah, as far as like my current current batch, yeah, three years at this point. Officially as of April 2nd that I started my current uh, streaming quote-unquote career. 
Okay, so where else can we go? So literally everywhere down below. Okay, so for as a reference, like how how is the stream looking so far? Are you getting like a lot of like video cutouts, audio cutouts? So I'm, I'm starting to see like a handful of drop frames every now and again. I want to just kind of know what it's like on the viewer side. That, that, that's something I do get kind of paranoid about. I want to make sure that if I'm like trying to show something off, people can actually see it. And I don't know how it currently looks. Okay, it's looking fine. All right, I guess I guess my OBS is just lying to me. I wonder why it would say like I'm dropping so many frames off. I'm actually not. Yeah, I, I don't know then. So there's still a lot about OBS. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, cause it, it's been dropping like a handful of frames every now and again. Like a little bit ago, it dropped like about 180 frames, which is like three, like three seconds worth. And I'm, I'm just kind of wondering just how that actually looks in the net. That's not where I wanted to go, but we found secret boots. True ending yet. Actually, do the secret boots do anything? That's kind of a good question. Secret boots, they do not actually do anything. So, nothing else. Okay, we didn't accidentally find the Ring of Arda. Okay, so good to know. So, still more than watchable. I, I really need to learn to, like, not stress over some of the details on streaming. But it's kind of hard when I'm... I'm, I'm kind of like a completionist slash perfectionist in a lot of things, and it kind of extends to what I, what I want for my streams. And I can definitely kind of be harder on myself than I really need to be. Is the... Okay, so the succubus fight is still a check in this version. I suppose, yeah, it is where you get one of the rings, so it would have to be in logic. Okay, I am doing a lot of accidental R button presses. I don't know why my left buttons aren't... Well, I guess there's nothing going on with my left buttons, so... Nothing for me to accidentally trigger on the left side. Mother! There's a little snack in the meantime. That voice! Alucard, it's you! I'm coming, Mother! I'll save you! No, Alucard! Don't come here! But, Mother! It's all right. If my death can save others, I gladly surrender my life. Mother! No! Please, no! Yes, Alucard. Watch me die, and remember always my last words to you. Yes, Mother. You must despise humans. They are to be your prey. What? Better for them to die than to let them compound their sins. Begin by slaying that one over there. No, it wasn't like this. What's wrong? Alucard! My mother never said such a thing! What do you mean? Kill them and bring them happiness! No! You're not my mother! What kind of demon are you? <laughs> you broke free of my spell! I like that! Demon! Death is too good for you! Come here, little boy, and show me what you've got. <clears throat> you happy now? Oh, Alright, sounds good. Thanks blood. for stopping by. You're and may your work not suck for today. Could it be... That strength, that beauty. You're the son of Lord Dracula. Death in the dream world will set your soul wandering for eternity, demon. Wait! I beg of you! <sighs> okay, formula is good. Well, theoretically. Now that does mean we kind of have to go back to the library at some point and eventually get that one check. 
Hopefully we don't have to though, because that'd be a real pain in the ass if I get to. I guess we do have library cards, so if anything else runs out. But yeah, that, that's the thing the last resort, because that takes us away from everything else we want to go to. I'm pretty sure this is a... Yeah, this is a relic check, too. Just an instant death. Fatality. It's kind of weird to be, like, in this area when we're this high level and overpowered. Because normally you don't get this. Also, for some reason, the Scylla's hitbox still exists during this scene. So I'm giving the water a chance to fully recede, because if you don't wait for the water to go down after this fight ends, you will soft lock here. Okay, we got both of our rings now. So that's another thing we can check by the clock tower. We do have the merman statue, so the guy down here will actually show up. And therefore, we can get the item. I mean, you do that. Oh dear. Maybe that kind of very many cloaks is fine. I think it's literally the second cloak we found. Things I don't like about this particular randomizer is that there can be literally nothing in the chat. That, that is a very conscious decision by the randomizer creator, too, which one I've always disagreed with. Let the dancing commence. They shall now dance in perpetuity underwater. That's one of my favorite little minor glitches in this game. Okay, I killed a frog and it gave me dynamite. And a quantity of dynamite that's much bigger than its physical capacity. Should I be concerned? I think I should be concerned. That's a fancy looking sword. Takamitsu. Which is kind of a crappy weapon if I remember right. So it's basically like a wooden weapon of some kind. Check, but I'll wait to make sure. Actually, we have to wait anyway. And now the other best line in the game. Hmm, a switch. Why don't I press it and see? Actually, I don't even, don't even need anything from here. We got more than enough equipment for like any setup we want to do. 
But there is a relic over this way. Not one we want. And we'll do a safe split down here, because there's items in both paths, and, like, complete opposite ends of each other. One of them is much slower than the other, but that's not the way I want it to go. And we can do a, a reset if uh, one check doesn't pan out. Kind of make our way back a little bit faster. So, stay split initiated. We do have the Aegis play, so we can use that to get through the room like normal. Sort of Kador, interesting. Damn. I was trying to do a quick wing smash, but I couldn't. Oh. There we go. And make sure I get that equipped. Reset. Wait. I forget I have to actually hold the buttons down for a bit to make it work. Now we check the left side. Also, I just realized I still have Bloodstain running. Close that real quick. There. Okay. It might give you a little bit of resources. Okay, so there's only two checks over this way we can get, I think. A lot of equipment checks there if we were doing adventure mode. Yeah, I knew I screwed that one up. Actually, I guess there's only one check here now that I think about it. Yeah, only one check. But yeah, that's why we do the safe split, because if both of these suck, we can do a quick way to get back otherwise. Doesn't even get the chance to fully reveal himself. I'll wait for his, his thing to come up just in case, but it, it, this shouldn't be it. Yeah, no. I think you normally get one of the, like, the equipment pieces from this boss. Oh, there's Uggo Mode. Okay, I think it's actually faster to just use Library Card at this point. And since we're in Go Mode, I don't have to worry about actually like losing it by spending it. with the, the guitar intro. In fact, for anybody who's curious, the, the music tracks for this game are actually on Spotify, as an example. So if you have a Spotify, or just like like using Spotify even without having an account there, you can look up these songs and be able to just play them at your leisure. Oh, 
I, I never actually did the, uh, the fly like eagle split, apparently. Okay. Well, I'm definitely not saving these splits, given I just, uh, mucked up the, uh, the fabulous split. Get up there. Pretty sure I got this teleport at least. Okay, good, I did. Yeah, back when I was uh, first doing randomizers at the the start of my current streaming segment, I was actually doing a lot of like randomizers for this game and a lot of randomizer races in particular. There was one race I almost lost because I forgot to get that teleporter. I had like a like two minutes worth of lead by the time I entered go mode. I won by like 15, 20 seconds afterward because I could not just use teleport to get to where I wanted to go. So if you're doing a, a randomizer of this and you're trying to go at least somewhat fast, never forget that teleporter. Under any circumstances. Come on. Technically the wing smash strat is faster, but I don't have a lot of mana right now. Then I'm not super consistent with those inputs. Grab another drink real quick. Yeah. yeah. Almost perfect timing. And then safety save because shenanigans. You know how it is. Segments right here, just because that, that's more fun for me. Oh yeah, I can't can't skip these. You have done well in making it this far. I would expect no less from the son of our master. So you are the one who is controlling Belmont. Yes, I am the dark priest called Shaft. This I can world dig it. must be cleansed in the forge of chaos. That's mean that probably nobody Why remembers did you at this make point. Belmont lord of this castle? For centuries, vampire hunters have defeated evil with holy power. But if two vampire hunters were to fight each other... But Belmont's power is supreme among vampire hunters. None other could defeat him. Exactly. Exactly. That's why I removed him as a threat, by making him into lord of this castle. But your plan has failed. Has it indeed? We'll see what happens after I destroy your weak human side. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> Who's destroying what now? Oh! No! No! You claim to love the darkness. Go then and dwell there for all eternity. But... but my goal is achieved! Count Dracula has come to purify this corrupt world with the searing flames of chaos. <laughs> yeah, I was told there was a boss there. Did, did, did you see the boss? I, I, I couldn't see him anywhere. I was trying to find him. Yeah, I don't know. This, like, somebody was trying to talk from the sounds but I couldn't tell what they were saying because they just, like, Im immediately blew up. Father. Well met, my son. It's been a long time. I was hoping we would not see each other again. I can't allow you to leave here, Father. You have ever been the ally of humans. 
Have you forgotten what they did to your mother? Think you I would forget such a thing? No, but neither do I seek revenge against them. Still uttering the same nonsense. No matter. Now is the time to put aside your weak human side and join me in remaking this world! Dracula, in the name of my mother, I will defeat you again! Yeah, I do like the voice acting for Dracula because it seems like he's the one actually putting the most effort into his, uh, his role. And I definitely appreciate that. Even if it does get like quite a bit campy. Go back whence you came. Trouble the soul of my mother no more. Uh, how? How? How is it that I have been so defeated? You have been doomed ever since you lost the ability to love. Ah, ah, sarcasm. For what profit is it to a man if he gains the world and loses his own soul? Matthew 16, 26, I believe. Tell me, what... What were Lisa's last words? She said, do not hate humans. If you cannot live with them, then at least do them no harm. For theirs is already a hard lot. She also said to tell you that she would love you for all of eternity. Lisa, forgive me. Farewell, my son. Ah. I am dead. I, I can't help but just I can't help but just out of the lines with the the voice actors in that scene. I don't know why it's just, it's just something that just sticks with me. Since this has been a mostly cutscene run, I'll actually let these cutscenes play out too. So you made it. I think it might be true ending. I'm glad you're all right. I'm sorry. Tis my fault you had to fight your own father. Fear not. I had my own reasons for destroying him. It Destroy. must have been painful for you. Indeed. But you must always remember that the only thing necessary for evil to triumph is for good men to do nothing. I understand. Alucard, what will you do now? The blood that flows in my veins is cursed. It would be best for this world if I were to disappear forever. I see. Farewell, then. We'll not meet again. Alucard? Don't you want to go after him, Maria? No. Okay, it's no true ending. This way. I can't ease his Actually, torment. I think... I'll wait until the Someday, end. Someday, perhaps, we will meet again. And on that day, maybe. I see. Let's go. Everyone's waiting for us. Yes. Let's get out of here. Okay, so I'm going to pause the game there, because the scene that comes up here has a song that DMCA's everybody who tries to play it, so I'm not going to let it run. But yeah, so if I think right, in order to get true ending for this game, you need to get like 190% math completion, and that's between both the first and second castle, each one being a full 100%. Actually, don't know what I was at for that. I can do a quick reset to try to figure that out. I'm kind of curious. The reset. Yeah. A little bit of reposition. <clears throat> yeah, I want to see what my Mac is. I'm, I'm guessing it was probably from what we from what we did. I want to say it was probably maybe around like 160 percent. That's kind of kind of a, a complete spitball. I actually don't know what relatively amount I would have explored in this kind of run. Let's take a look. I think it does show on the save file screen. We have... Oh, only 119. Huh. I thought it would have had more than that. But uh, yeah, so that was the Symphony of the Night version of our stream for today. Uh, so I'm going to let this kind of run for a bit, so at least a little bit of background noise while I take another quick bio break. When I get done with that, next on our list of randos will be Legends of Zelda, A Link to the Past, which will be like a very standard type seed. I think I even have like Ganon's Tower set of 7-7. I actually don't... 
Let me confirm that real quick. I don't remember if I actually made that into... Why are my windows here messed up? I don't remember if I actually made it as... Ganon's Tower 7 or random. I want to say I did regular. Okay, yeah, so it's a completely standard uh, link to pass randomizer, just to make sure we have, like, a modest control on the amount of time it takes, but thank you for the GG. And, uh, yeah, once I get back from my little bio break, we'll be back with some Legend of Zelda. Until then, a burb. Expected, but I'm back. Hooray! Alright, so let me get the next game set up. 
Uh, do do where? I guess I can just go from there. Oh, I already had it saved. Well, uh, do do. So let's get. So in order to make the tracker work for the next game, I actually, I actually have to load up an older version of Bizhawk. Actually, I wonder. I want to try something. Because I know that I found out how to actually make the tracker work in 2.6.3, which is the one I usually use for my Link to the Past and Metroid randos. And I, I realized recently, I was actually using a different connector to make those actually work with the tracker. And I wonder if I can actually make that work with this as well. Although the problem is, I'm going to have to do a resizing of everything, I think. Uh, okay, let's just go right into uh, Link to the Past. So this is not going to be mystery, so this will just be a basic rando. Yeah, it's gonna have to resize itself, so yeah, we'll we'll just we'll do a normal setup for this. So 2.6.3. This one we'll open. This will be in stream stuff. Randothon seeds. Link to the past. And so otherwise I need to open Link to the Past. Uh Technically this falls just under weekly randomizer. For Koi's thing, but I, I do use a different kind of logic. At least logic uh, compared. Why is that so huge? Why are you so big? Okay, if it's gonna be that big to begin with, let's actually try the original setup then. Wait a minute, everything is scaled oddly. What the hell? What is going on? Uh, I guess we'll just use mystery because that's already. Okay, no, so that one actually makes sense now I think about it for the, the timer. Because normally I have a different layout made for this. So VTuber, so that puts that into where it's supposed to be. Why was the game so big? Why is everything so big? Um, okay. I guess we'll... Oh, okay, which version do I have up now? I've got... Okay, so this is the current version. Let's see what happens if I go into stream stuff. Randall's on Seeds, Link to the Past. Open that up. Resize this to be what it's supposed to be. I don't know why it's not already. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I am moving the tracker. I am. I am done. Okay. Wait, why is that? Oh, because I'm. Wait, no. I guess I don't have the tracker up. But why would it double the? I am confused. Which is not much different than normal, to be fair, but... Apparently there are updates. Oh, even for Link to the Past. Let's update that real quick. These are usually, like, super quick to... There we go. So that update's done. Let's go to my regular... Uh, regular item tracker. Yeah, why is it... Okay, so... Why is it being funky? Swap to that, and then swap to the. Okay, there we go. Why is it so tiny? My questions are unending. Uh, how does that look? Could technically be a bit bigger. Because I got the timer down there. I got my chat there, right? Is that that's chat? Yeah, that's chat. Uh, yeah, we should be able to make this more or less work. Yeah, I don't know why this scene is like as off as it is. I haven't really, like, done much with it. Anyway, that, that should be good enough, then. Oh, so now I need to actually test the the, the linking thing. The Lua. Uh, so I think I had that... Okay, where did I have that? It wasn't... Alright, where was it? Where did I have that? Games? Into the past? I really should not be, like, doing these tests like this at this point, but I am. Okay. No, that's for a Star Ocean. Live Split? No. Okay, I... I'm still gonna try to get this figured out since I'm already on it. I just wanna see if I can actually, like, combine everything to a single BizHawk instead. So this would be under... Uh, okay, I need to actually have a game running first. I start that up, but we'll actually pause that because I don't want to do anything with that. There might be some doubling. Yep, there's gonna be doubling. Um, so 
He's in scripts. So you stuff crowd control. Okay, that's what it is. So, do do. I don't know why that's still freezing like that. Okay. So, open script. Stream stuff. Crowd control. Connector scripts. Connector. Okay, so that yeah, that doesn't work. So it does need to be the original two point. Okay. We we have learned things. So knowing that. Now that we have gained proper knowledge. Make sure. Okay, now it's not showing up on here. Do that temporarily. There we go. Lua. Lua console. Okay, now everything should be good. Right? Okay, now we're good. Alright. Let's get right into it. Nope, oh, that's not... Okay. Oh, game? Thank you. Today we're playing as... I have no idea what character this is, or what game they're from, or if they're from a game, or if they're an OC. OC, I, I, I just know nothing about this character. Uh, let's go ahead and just get... Oh, 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 oh. Okay, first off, I'm going to stop the recording because that's the end of the Castlevania run. I'm making separate recordings for each game. Okay, at least somebody knows. Thank you for your knowledge, good sir. But yeah, so I'm going to stop recording on the Castlevania video now.